they got a little choppy out there. Throw these in there. There's this new type of fishing that's becoming pretty popular called poke pulling. What's up, girl? Oh, you're looking beautiful. Actually, both still alive. I don't know if you can, can see it, but it's staring right at us. I mean, of course, it's definitely dead, um, but I think it was just so fresh that throwing it on the fire, it's still having muscle spasms. I drank so much salt water. Woo! Ain't that beautiful. This is the right time to be here. Really yeah. It's the I've seen it. Yeah, this is the first time I've actually looked at the tide report, you know? Wow. Oh, but still, I mean, I've been here like all day. Uh huh. Sometimes. Never seen it this low? Mm -hmm. Apparently, it gets even lower in about an hour. Wow. So, we're here at the right time. Okay, so normally we'd set up camp like right around here, and then I would swim out from here out to you know, just different kelp beds and stuff. But the kelp is pushed so close to shore that I don't want to have to swim through all that. So we're actually going to go set up over here on the rocks. Then I'm just going to jump out from the rocks into the water. All right, and there's this new form of fishing that's becoming a bit of a trend lately. It's called poke pulling. Hey, look at that seal. What's up, girl? Oh, you're looking beautiful. She's big chilling right there. And this is pretty cool. I don't know if you saw my last video where I where I went diving for sea urchins and we made some uni sushi right, right here at the beach, but this is the cave opening I was talking about where people sometimes will climb over and they'll fall into the water. Um, but right now, because it's such, such low tide, we can actually walk all the way across this entire way. Dad's grabbing some pictures. Yeah, this is the lowest tide we've ever seen it. The big old sea star here, starfish. It's a big one. Check under this rock, there's a couple fish. See that little fish right there? I don't know if you can, can see it, but it's staring right at us. There's some fish in here? Okay, so this is a cool spot where I can give an example. So the concept with poke pulling is that you get these big pools of water that are normally, these big pools that are normally covered by water. Oh yeah, you can see some fish in there, Dad, huh? Um, but naturally when the tide goes out, these pools... Wow, look at that fish right there. What? Wow, that's cool. And what people do is they come out during low tide with a pole that's maybe, say, like 10 feet long. And they'll tie a little hook with, say, about four inches of line at the end. And they'll put, say, a piece of squid there. And they'll just poke it into little corners of these rocks when the tide is low because you know that there's going to be some decent sized fish that actually get trapped in these in these uh pools so that you know there's going to be decent sized fish in here and it's just about trying to lure them out of the corners and the nooks and the crannies of these pools and it's supposed to be like a pretty fun way of uh, fishing that i'm actually probably going to try out pretty soon so hopefully we'll be able to do some poke pulling poke pulling videos pretty soon here it's okay I won't bother you. All right, y'all, so I dropped the ball, kind of bummed, but I forgot to bring my GoPro camera. So I'm gonna have to do the dive today, uh, just solo, I can't actually bring you along with me. Here we go. All right, y'all, sorry again that I forgot my GoPro, uh, but for what we got, we got an iPhone at least, so I'll be back in a minute. Hope it's a plentiful harvest, let's get it. At least we got a sea urchin. For starters, this should be good. Got a scratch on your head. On what? On your the right side of your head. 
You got a scratch? scratch, yeah, some blood coming out. There's blood on my, there's blood coming out of my yeah. head. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it was a little bit of a rough dive, but after all that, I got one lobster in here. Really? Oh my god. You did? Yeah. Oh wow. Wow. I got the bands on this. Decent size. Yeah, it's gonna be just big enough. Yeah. I feel a little bit bad because his antenna's broke, but it happens sometimes when you're done with the lobster. Don't drop it. Yeah. Take a look. Oh, I've been so sad if we lost it. Oh, that was a hard dive. That was a hard one. So my dad said that there's blood on my head. I can't see it, but you got in the video, Dad? Yeah, pull Can your you hair back. It? Scratch your head. Yeah? Yeah, yeah that, that, it got a little choppy out there. Oh, the, the, it's low tide, but surprisingly there's decent current, so I got thrown around a bit onto some rocks a couple times in the water, but I'm just glad that we got a lobster. Oh man, I was gonna be so sad if I came up empty handed after that one. I was like, no, James, like you can't give up. You gotta get something, you gotta get, let's get something. And there was like five or six lobsters that I saw and I tried to get, I only have one glove too. I need to get two gloves, but I tried reaching for a couple and they just shoot so deep into the rock that you can't you can't pull them out and there's sea urchins in those rock in those tiny little crevices too so you can't just like reach unless you're gonna get stabbed by steer sea urchins and there's just a lot of variables out there plus they're deep and you can't hold your breath so long so you know there's a lot of a lot of variables as to why lobsters are pretty tough to get um but uh you know we didn't come up empty-handed today so i'm pumped my lips are cold talking funny as usual when I get out the water, but uh, yeah, I'm just glad. Just got a little scratch, but I'm glad I'm okay. I'm gonna drink some fresh water, head home, and we'll cook this thing up. All right, so here we are. We've got our sea urchin and lobster in the sink, and they're actually both still alive. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave these in the sink for now and get everything else ready so we can start cooking up. And I got this pack of mini heirloom tomatoes from Trader Joe's, washed them off. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump these all in here on low heat. It's, it's popping and crackling because I could have dried them off, but the tomatoes still have some water on them. So that's causing some pops with the oil. It's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave these on the fire to cook on low to medium heat. And I decided I'm also gonna chop up some of these, just dice them up and I'm gonna throw these in the sauce as well. All right, so I chopped up like five of those. Throw these in there. Slide down. This is the one hand method. Hold the camera in one, do it with the other. All right, and that is looking good. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these to sit while I hop in the shower and come back and visit these in like five, 10 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes and these babies are looking good. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some sun-dried tomatoes and add them in with these uh, mini heirloom tomatoes. Oh yeah, this is looking really nice. Just gonna go ahead and mix those all in there. And I'm gonna turn the heat down to really low now. So the heat's on super low at this point. I'm just gonna let these tomatoes continue to cook down for a while. Let these sun-dried tomatoes mix in there. I might add a little bit more, we'll see. Um, but this is looking pretty good. Okay, so at this point, I think our lob lobster actually did die. So this is, this is good. Doesn't seem like he has too much, even muscle spasms going. So if this lobster was alive, typically what I like to do is lay down directly between the eyes, quick, fast and easy. So there's like a little bit of a ridge that goes right here. And that's usually where I like to do it. Um, I think it's just the most fast, efficient, 
and humane way to kill a lobster. So, three, two, one. Thank you, lobster, for your life. There's our beautiful lobster meat from the ocean to our cutting board and soon to be on our plates. Okay, so at this point, I took the sauce off the heat. I actually realized that I forgot to put garlic in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and put garlic in with the lobster, um, which is what I was planning on doing anyways, but I'm just gonna have to put a little bit more garlic than what I was planning on initially. So, we'll go ahead and overcompensate. Pour a little touch of olive oil as well. Okay, so our butter's all melted. Garlic's starting to cook in here. Now we can go ahead and throw on both halves of our lobster. It's interesting, you can see there's, this lobster is so fresh that there's still muscle spasms going on in it. Whoa, I don't know if that's freaky or what, but I mean, of course it's definitely dead, um, but I think it was just so fresh that throwing it on the fire, it's still having muscle spasms. Wow, that is how you, that is how you eat some fresh, 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 fresh lobster. You saw the way this garlic is just getting crusted onto the bottom. Oh, that's gonna be stupid. All right, we had some frozen shrimp in the freezer, so I decided to pull those out and throw those in with our butter, olive oil, and garlic. Um, the last thing I need to do is add some salt and pepper, but Wow, how good is that looking? Oh my gosh. We're gonna go ahead and add our original tomato sauce back in with this shrimp and the butter and the garlic. So now we'll be able to mix, get that garlic mixed in with the rest of the tomato sauce like it was supposed to be from the beginning. And last, I took out the shrimp and the lobster so that they don't get overcooked. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this sauce on high heat. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of white wine in here. And then we'll just let that cook down. Reduce. And once this is, that wine is all cooked off, we'll add the, the shrimp back in here. And we'll add our pasta in, and we'll be ready to go. There we have it, there is our homemade pasta with our freshly caught lobsters. And last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle on some parsley, a little garnish. Woo! Ain't that beautiful. We got some lobster getting worked on right here. Ooh, yeah, take that lobster bite. Let's go. So there you have it, y'all. Um, we took it from the sea to the pan to the stomach of my pops. That was a tough catch and cook, um, but we got it done. I hope you all enjoyed. And now I'm gonna go ahead and actually take um, some of this. I'm gonna make a plate and actually head to the back and do a mukbang. So maybe I will have posted the mukbang first because that's easier to edit. And then I'll, maybe I'll do the, the whole process video after that. Um, but. Yeah, hopefully you watched the mukbang. Um, but if you made it this far in the video, thanks for hanging out with us. As always, we do appreciate you. Love you, and stay tuned for the next one. We'll see you soon. All right, peace. Bit of a tough dive today. Cut my head up a little bit. Freezing. Drank probably two or three cups of salt water. But your boys got dinner.